Welcome to Leximation University. My name is Scott Prentice, and in this video I'll show you the basics of creating a PDF from a DITA map using DITA FMX. If you're authoring in DITA and PDF is one of your deliverables, FrameMaker and DITA FMX provide a great way to get properly formatted output. You may find that this is an ideal option even if FrameMaker isn't your DITA authoring tool. We'll start by opening a DITA map. This one happens to be the source for the DITA FMX documentation. It's a fairly basic book map with a front matter element that contains a TOC, some chapters, appendixes, and a back matter element with an index list. To make a PDF from a DITA map, you create a FrameMaker book from the map, then save that to PDF. In doing this, you can leverage FrameMaker's ability to make generated lists as well as being able to set the pagination and numbering as needed. You can also easily assign alternate templates to each of the generated files. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the book build options are set up properly. Go into the options dialog, then choose the book builds button. This dialog contains many options. For now, I'll just cover the basics. Typically, you should always have the normalize reference paths and reload references options enabled. Since this map has a relationship table, I'll enable the Add Related Links option and we'll use the FM link as the link type. For now, we'll proceed with just those options selected and see how it goes. Choose the Generate Book from Map command, then specify the location and name for the new book file. When Dita FMX creates a book from a map, it creates a FrameMaker file from each top level topic ref or topic ref based element, like a chapter or appendix. Each of the book components has a map element type attribute whose value is assigned based on the associated map element name. You'll see how this is used later on. After the book is built, we can immediately save it to a PDF to see how things look. In the PDF setup dialog, be sure to set up the bookmarks using paragraphs rather than elements. It is also important to enable the Create Name Destinations option so links and XREFs will function properly. Hmm, it looks alright, except the TOC and index haven't been generated. The prologue information is visible and probably shouldn't be. Each chapter is numbered with a 1 and the page numbering restarts with each chapter. You'll notice that the related links work, so that's a good thing. Let's close this PDF and book and go back to see what needs to be done to clean things up. First thing we'll do is enable the conditionalized prologue option. The actual hide show state of the prologue is determined by the book or topic template, but this will allow us to hide the prologue in the generated files. Now let's go to the Book Build Settings dialog again. To fix the things we're seeing in the PDF, we need to enable a few more options in this dialog. And we also need to set up an INI or INI file with detailed information. We need to enable Assign Numbering and Pagination, Replace List Files with Generated Files, and Apply Templates. We'll also enable the Hide Conditionalized Content option as well as the Update Book option. Save the settings, then we'll set up the DITA FMX Book Build INI file. The Book Build INI file uses the map elem type attribute values as a way for you to assign properties and templates to each book component. You'll find a sample Book Build INI file in the DITA FMX folder. I've already set up one for this project. This file must be customized based on the structure of the map and your desired output. I'll walk you through the settings for this project. In the general section is one parameter called Book Templates Dir. This specifies the location of the component templates and the generated list templates. The default DITA FMX book application contains a folder with some sample templates that we'll use. These templates follow a strict naming convention. Generated list templates start with GEN TPL tilde, followed by the associated map element name. 
we'll be using templates for the TOC and index list elements. To apply an alternate template to book components, add a component template to the book templates dir folder. Component template names start with TPL tilde and are followed by the map element name. This map has appendix nodes, so the TPL tilde appendix template will be imported into the appendix component files. This is done when the apply templates option is enabled. The book build any file contains sections for defining the numbering and pagination properties of each map element type. The properties you can set are the same as those available through the FrameMaker interface. DataFMX lets you specify the first and default properties for the numbering and pagination of each book component. In this map, we only have one TOC component, so we'll just specify the properties for the first instance of that component. So this means that we need a section labeled numbering first dash TOC. In this section, we'll set the numbering to restart and the number format to lowercase roman. It is very important to properly spell these parameters and values. At the bottom of the sample any file is an example of all the possible values, but you may need to review the appropriate values for different situations in the FrameMaker interface as well. The next element type in our map is chapter. Since we've got more than one chapter, we'll need both numbering first chapter and numbering default chapter sections. In our numbering first chapter section, we're setting the chapter numbering to restart at 1 and the page numbering to also restart. The numbering default chapter section sets the chapter and page numbering to continue. To handle the appendix nodes and index list, there are three other sections similar to those just described. To set up the generated lists, you need to add generated list sections. Each of these specify the component type, the number of tags to include when building the list, and the tag names. We have set up sections for both the TOC and the index list element types. Generated lists also need to have the associated templates in the component templates folder. DataFMX provides an option to insert unstructured files into the book after it's built. This can be a nice way to add a title page to your book if one isn't included in the map. The Include Files section lets you specify the file name and its position in the book. The Include File Types section lets you specify the map LM type value for this new component. By assigning a map LM type value, you can control the page numbering for this component. Close the book and run the Generate Book from Map command again. This time, it'll use the new book build any file. After the book has been generated, save it to a PDF. Now open the PDF and review. The title and copyright pages look nice. And the TOC has been generated and works properly. Each of the chapters and appendixes are properly numbered and lettered. And the index works properly and looks good. Now that this book is set up properly, the PDF can be regenerated easily as needed. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit Lexamation.com for more videos and information.